Hey guys. Lately, a business partner of mine asked me, what is it I help men with? He saw some of my posts online and he asked me, what is it exactly you do with these men? And I told him that I helped them master their drinking habits. I said, oh, that's a cool thing. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So we had a chat about how much is too much. Um, when do we have problems? Um, what is it that makes the difference between uh, someone who enjoys his glass of wine with dinner or a whiskey with a good cigar? Where's the difference? And I told him, yeah, that actually, the difference is if you cannot be without it, if you need it to cope with stress, if you need it to, to close up your day, if you need it to celebrate, then it might be an issue. So he thought about it and said, oh, no, actually, I'm good. I can be without, without any problem. But my problem is junk food. And I listened and I said, why? How come? He said, yeah, because I have no time. So I go to this gas station shop and I buy myself a, a, a sandwich, which is awful. It's full of water. It's full of crap. It's full of I don't know what. And I interrupted him. And I said, okay, next time you do that, you go into, into such a shop and you grab your sandwich, just turn it around and read the ingredients. I said, well, how, how should that help? And I said, because your brain will make the difference. And you will read actually that it's full of sugar, it's full of crap, it's full of impronounceable chemical substances that if you can't pronounce them, you can't understand what it means. So with time, your brain will make it a habit to stop you. Say, well, listen, you really want to eat this? And it's the same thing we do with alcohol. To ask ourselves the question, is this really what I need now? Is this really what I want? And with time, you change your habit. Now, for junk food, if you go to a farmer shop every now and then, and you buy some fruit, you buy some vegetables, you buy some meat there, which is good food, healthy food, and you prepare a sandwich, or you tell your lovely wife to do so, then you have healthy food, even if you have no time to eat. And by the way, you should take your time to eat. So he nodded and said, oh, I will think about that. Sounds about good. So you see, it doesn't matter which habit we have. If we think about what we're doing, we change it. And by the way, did you know that if you would take a neat zip of alcohol, pure, it would instantly kill you. I'm Daniel Chi, see you out.